describe an EMA crossover? Not only that, after the crossover happens, we're going to dictate that the, the slowest EMA out of the two must be rising in order for us to take the trade. So let's get straight into it. Um, the easiest way, let me, let's, I've got it, I put it up somewhere. Let me just find it, um, Tesla. I just want to show you the pattern we're going for here um, that we're going to try get. There it is. Uh, let's go to one minute. And let me find it. It should be really close. There it is. Okay, this is the pattern we're gonna look, we're gonna try describe, and this is what we're gonna want to get. And then we're gonna try and optimize the strategy. So let me just get in here. Great. Okay. So this is what we have here, traders. We have um, an EMA nine and an EMA twenty one. Um, and that open okay so um and we have four bars here we don't know when the crossover is going to happen we're going to say that the crossover can happen any time between these four bars so um but as long as the crossover does happen we're okay with it not only that we want the slow ema the 21 ema to be rising after the crossover happens and then we're willing to take the trade and you guys can um you know you can use this with any indicator or any time frame whatever you feel is necessary to you i'm just taking this as an example these are one minute candles and how i'm going to define this is just remember this this is our previous bar this is our bar with offset one what is hold on let me go in the chat that looks a bit better. This is our previous bar. This is our bar with offset one. This is our bar with offset two. And this is our bar with offset three. So basically we're gonna say, okay, on offset three, uh, the nine EMA is below the 21 EMA. Let's go ahead and put that into our strategy. Okay, create a strategy. And okay, so if, Tesla EMA and we're going to use a nine and we're going to use a one minute close and remember this is with an offset of three bars is below Tesla EMA and this is the 21 one mean one minute with an offset of three bars three bars great so all we've said there is the ema is below at the stage now we don't know when the ema is going to cross and we don't really want to define it because if you define it and it doesn't happen exactly as it's supposed to then you know it may um it won't trigger so for the strategy we're going to say that at the close of the previous bar the nine ema is now going to be above the 21 ema which is going to have indicated that this that it the crossover happened at some stage. Let's go ahead and write that. Um, and if Tesla, we don't have to put previous because the close of the previous is the current, so we don't have to worry about it. So we can just say EMA. So if Tesla EMA nine one minute close is above. Tesla and we'll go EMA and we're going to go 21 one minute and just hang in there guys I, I understand it may be a little bit confusing for new traders um, it'll all make sense in a moment so we basically described a crossover over three bars because at bar three the nine EMA was below the 21 EMA and now at the current, the nine EMA is above the 21 EMA. Not only do we want to do that, we also want the 21 EMA to be rising. So we wanna make sure that the trend is continuing. And how are we gonna do that? Well, that's pretty easy. We'll just say that the, that the 21 EMA here is above the 21 EMA here by a certain amount. Let's go ahead and write that. And if, Tesla EMA, and we're only using the 21 now because that's all I'm interested, the slow one. One minute close 
is above Tesla EMA. And again, 21, one minute close. And this is on the third bar with an offset of three bars. And let's say by at least, um, by at least uh, 0.1%. You could change that if you really want to find, you know, a very steep bar, and that's only when you want to get in. That's when you trust the trend. It's up to you. Then buy 10 Tesla. Great. So we have basically described here the crossovers happening, but not only, we want the slow EMA to be rising at the same time. Let's test this. And let's test this with close position at 1%. Great. So this uh, let's do it actually at let's do it at trailing stop of 1%. So it'll give the strategy time. Uh, why is it not taking that syntax? Let me look at that again. At a trailing stop of 1%. Percent. Great. And I'm going to show you now how we're going to um, optimize this, how we're going to make it better. So we're going to back test this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and the main thing that I'm looking for with this, because I'm using just a small trailing stop, I'm looking for that exact hit. I'm looking for the hit at, let's see when this was. I'm looking at the hit at the, so the close of the previous. So it's going to be uh, 10.07. So I'm looking for the 6th of Jan. At 10.07, we need to have that hit if we've described this pattern correctly. Let's have a look. Okay, we got it. Okay, and let's see. The main thing I'm looking for is that hit. I'm not too worried about the PL right now because I'm not really giving my trade any room. It's just got 1%. And with the stock like Tesla, we know that it's, you know, I think it's gone up sevenfold this year alone. I think if you bought Tesla in January, you would have bought it for $100 a share. Now you're buying it at $700. Um, so we know that the movement is heavy and 1%, um, you know, within Tesla movement at the moment is not that much. Um, so let's see what we get. And um, it is taking a, a little while because we've got a lot of hits here at the moment. And... Um, just to see, just to, just so you guys can see um, Tesla, I'll just show you where it was at the end, at the beginning of the year. Uh, let's just have a look here. Uh, this is day, let's go to there. Okay, there's Tesla. So if you bought Tesla at the beginning of the year, yeah, you would have actually bought it for under a hundred dollars. Oh, it's actually at 800 now. So that's why, that's why I'll show you my strategies just now. That's why my strategies are just performing so well at the moment. Tesla is, um, is just rocking at the moment with Elon Musk uh, at the helm. Um, okay, so we're looking for, was it the 6th of Jan or the 7th of Jan? Let's just have a look. Let me try brazen here. Yeah, okay, we're looking, okay, 6th of Jan, 10.07. Okay, and we're almost there. Well, we've got about 62%, so it's still running a little bit. Let's let it run here. Guys, any questions while this is running, um, pop them on the chat um, and uh, hang on for a moment. Uh, we got a little bit of time left. I'm going to show you how we're going to better this result uh, by simply using a concept called hysteresis. And for those of you who um, have seen my last few webinars, I speak about hysteresis quite often. Um, and this is taking so long. It should have finished already. Let me just go to my strategy page and I'll just bring it up again. Um, I think my computer is just a bit tired at the moment. It's probably finished. Yeah, it's finished. Okay. So we're looking for, uh, yeah, uh, it was, yeah, it was, yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. Yesterday at 10.07, we got the hit. So we know that this strategy is on point. Now let's look at how we can optimize this. And it's an easy way. We're going to clone it. And I'm going to use, I'm just going to, um, Ivan, yeah, this is going to be recorded. Don't drop out yet. Um, hang on for five more minutes. Um, and to all you traders, you'll get a copy of this webinar as well. Don't worry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my trading more space, uh, my trade more space rather. So I'm going to go close position at trading stop of 2%. Okay. And then I'm also going to try another one as well. I'm going to 
let's try even higher and see if we can get better results. And traders, this is how you should be looking at your trading. This is how you should be trying to back test your strategies. Um, because that's the only way you know if um, you know your strategies are working and what the perfect um, what the perfect uh, you know um, margin is between the entry and the exit. And the easiest way is I'll just go to my strategies and we'll just line them up uh, all together here. So let's have a look at these three and um, let's take a look and see how it uh, moves. Okay, so they're still running here. Um, you can see that the, the closing position at 1%, it didn't give us a lot. Um, it gave us 1.19%. We're actually already up, just by, just by a simple increase of 1%, we're already up 20, uh, we're up to 25%. So we, we've actually done an extra 24% just by giving it a little bit more room and Oh my God. Okay. So 5% is giving it 50%. So this concept of hysteresis and this concept of trusting in your strategies after you back testing them and let, giving them a little bit of room to move, you can see the difference. I know a lot of day traders like to trade very close, um, but you know, this is in the past 90 days, um, 18 hits with 49. 07, which is awesome. And you know what I'm about to do? I'm going to run this. So let's take this live and how I'm going to do that. I'm just going to click on run live. Um, and I'm going to run this live for a bit. And um, I'm going to show you, let's just, we've got a couple minutes, guys, get in questions if you have them now. I don't have a lot of time left. I want to show you a quick strategy that I'm using three MACD um, time intervals on. Um, and then uh, we're going to have to leave it for the next session, uh, for the next webinar. Um, so I think this is just looking awesome. And all my Tesla strategies at the moment are running really well. So I'm going to run that. Um, and uh, the next webinar, you guys will get to see exactly what happened with this strategy.